Hello everyone, I'm Denise Love, and here's a little preview of what we're doing today. So let's get started. In this video, I had so much fun playing in the graphite in the last one that I wanted to play some more in the graphite. And I want to do a little set of six just because I want to play. And I, I loved, loved the green, the green, and the blue. And so I might do green, green, blue, and gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, because this was like my favorite part of those bigger cut up pieces that we did so I kind of want to explore this a little more once you see something that you're like "Ooh, that's my favorite let's go with that for a bit explore it again and again until you're like "Ooh, I feel like I got this one I got everything I wanted out of this um, and I'm just going with my um, Princeton Quill number four brush here, and I'm just swishing this graphite, graphite stick. This is those extra large Derwent um, graphite sticks uh, that I'm using here. Um, I love those extra large sticks. I know they're like a little chunk of money to get them. Man, they last forever, and they're amazing. Ooh, you know, I almost feel tempted to get some gouache out because I'm obsessed lately with opacities, and transparencies and matte things that are matte and that gouache that moss gouache is really matte and adds to all the textures and stuff let me get some more on here i want a lot of i want this to be pigment city <laughs> um, but yeah all that matteness in that moss gouache that would be pretty too i might have to do another set just to play and experiment <laughs> not today but just an idea going forward of something else I might want to play in and so when I'm doing these I'm not thinking heavily about composition but I am usually avoiding sticking a blob in the center I know that looks like a blob in the center but I'm thinking you know things coming in from the edges darker colors let me squish stuff around and I'm just kind of looking at movement and I'm usually avoiding sticking things directly in the center and some of that comes from my photography days just moving things off set back and forth oh look at this okay feeling good feeling good all right let's put some more water on this <gasps> feeling good all right are we feeling it let's see I've still got these sitting right here from the last video I did <laughs> oh look at these colors like pretty pretty oh dude, there look at that <laughs> oh these are just delicious. I'm going to have to come back with some mark making or something on top of this because I'm filling that whole circle in. But circle, so I've filled that whole square in, but still um, super cool. Like, you don't have to fill the whole page. Like, I filled the whole page there. Remind yourself, you don't have to do that. We can leave white space, we don't have to fill every spot of the page remind yourself that like i'm reminding myself and be brave just oh 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 did you see that oh yeah right there that one oh that was super cool okay and as you go along that's why i like to do more than one as you go along you see i started off and i just really plunked all that color down and then as i go along i'm kind of getting my little rhythm and i'm getting more excited because they get better and better this is why i like to do lots at the same time because then you grow even as you're working on this set you expand you grow you figure things out as you're painting and then every day is a good paint day because if i just did that one I might have been like, oh, it's a dud. But if I got down to these and I'm like, look at this set of three. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let these dry and we're going to mark make on top of them. <laughs> All right, so loving the way these are going. The only one that's not quite dry are these ones where I put way too much <laughs> um, stuff on there. And I'm kind of thinking maybe we want... Um, dark this is the graph tint uh number 20 midnight black maybe some really dark graphite mark making um 
so it's not really dark but it is giving me some marks in there so I do love that and you're not necessarily going to see these will be details that as you get closer you're probably going to see so that's I do like details that are not obvious sometimes so even though this said midnight black I feel like it's a charcoal color more like graphite color um, but I do like it when maybe when you're standing back you don't see all the details and as you get closer you're like oh look at that detail I missed from back there um, so I do like that okay I think this is probably a cut up we're gonna cut that maybe into hearts <laughs> All right, so what do we think? What do we want to do? Do we want some gold on these for graphite and gold? Do we want to do something on top for another little element of yumminess? What do we want to do? I'm going to think for a moment. Okay, what I think I want to do, throw a little curveball at you here, is I got some FW Sepia acrylic ink. And I kind of feel like maybe we pull our little sample out I was just kind of thinking maybe I want some really dark you know mark making like that and you see how vivid that is whereas that dark pencil that I had initially thought I want some really dark marks to pop out at me that pencil didn't do it but look what that ink is that ink totally is doing it so now I think I don't want to bring any white back I, I kind of want to do mark making with the ink. Let's do it on our least favorite first so we don't get stuck with it on our other ones if we didn't love it. But look at that. That's super cool actually. All right, I'm feeling that. Let's do it. And these are just kind of abstract marks. It's not something specific. I'm not making words. I'm just going to do some different shapes and we get what we get. I'm not thinking very hard about it because I'm talking to you at the same time I'm doing it, but we're just going to get what we get. And I like working in that kind of way on stuff like this because I don't think too hard and I just go with it. Whatever I get, that's what I get. I'm going to just do it. And then, you know, once you've done a bunch of these and you're like, oh, that's my thing. I love it. Then get more intentional with it. But until then, go ahead and just do some little movements and some fun and just talk while you're doing it. Just try to talk your way through your own project. If you're thinking too hard and you're getting real stressed and you don't have somebody you can call and you're not talking to a video like I'm talking to y'all, <laughs> just start looking at it and talking to it. And maybe, you know, talk to your dog if you've got your dog around, but distract your mind. If you're talking while you're doing, you cannot spend 100% of your focus on what you're doing and getting stressed and upset about where you're setting stuff. You actually, it just kind of splits your thoughts you're, you've given yourself that freedom to kind of make the movement and be a little looser all right so now we have to let this dry before I can cut this apart okay <laughs> go with me here but isn't watching paint dry like torture totally torture <laughs> but as I was sitting here going come on paint dry blow on a little bit <laughs> thinking hurry up dry I came up with a couple more video ideas and so I'm like you know what maybe we're just gonna have a whole little graphite series on YouTube because while I'm in the mood to paint with a certain supply I gotta hop on that inspiration when it's hot you know cuz if I wait till tomorrow maybe I'll stay up late I'll get up tomorrow tired and I'll be like oh I'm too tired to be creative today and I'll go do something else by the time I'm feeling good and ready to create again, I totally forgot whatever great idea I had. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like today should just be paint day. And we'll just stay up here and paint, paint, paint all day and come up with several. Let's just cut these and come up with several um, different projects that i am kind of got on my mind. I love it. All right, and you know what I really like is on a couple of these pieces, and we'll talk about it in a second when I get these cut up. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not being super precise. Some people are like, tell us how you tape. Tell us how you cut. I'm not being precise at all. I'm eyeballing it, kind of seeing where the colors are up under my clear ruler there, but I don't get super exact on some of this stuff. These are little samplers for me they're not the 
big important piece, but if it is an important piece, it can be framed in or cut closer. It's just not a big deal to me. I don't get hung up on a lot of that stuff. Okay, check it out. I feel like this one can go this way. This one I feel is the dud of today. So put that one to the side. Ooh, I feel like this one is this way. <laughs> I'm loving these. This one, okay. I actually was thinking that I wanted to flip it, but you know what, as soon as I flipped it, I saw this face over here. Do you see that face? I feel like it's, you know, <laughs> one of the presidents on Mount Rushmore or something. <laughs> and I feel like if I leave it that way, that's all I'm gonna see. So maybe, ooh, see, now I'm kind of digging it that way. Okay, I'm, I'm actually liking this one this way, and I like that it's a different direction than the other marks I was making. Okay, I like the, the when the whirly whirlies go up this way. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Those are the five good ones. And if I had just done, say, like these two and stopped there, I never would have got to these other four, and I got four good ones kind of a eh, eh, and then a uh -uh. <laughs> and this one uh, you know just like I do in some of the other videos we could just go ahead and turn this into whatever the next thing is going to be and you know that I and we could keep this as you know collage paper too I don't have to cut it into anything because these strips from that last project I did are like so gorgeous that I don't want to throw away any little piece of strip at all but I could just go ahead and cut the watercolor paper off and see how fun would this be as a little art prompt card. Let's just see. Where is, oh, oh, see right there. That's it right there. Let's just commit. Look at that. That is amazing. And then the rest of this can be for collage. So this can go in my pretty little heart prompt bowl for a yummy prompt later love it all right so there we go hope you enjoyed graphite watercolor graphite graphite sticks graphite pencils anything graphite i could find to make pretty graphite little abstracts and then a tiny bit of the daler Rowney fw sepia on top Hope you enjoyed this project. Can't wait to see what you're creating. Definitely tag me on Instagram if you want to share there at Two Little Owls Art. You can join the Art Facebook group, which I link down in the description below for you, along with all the supplies and stuff that I've used. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.